all boats make waves, but some more so than others. It's been 33 years since Maiden changed the face of sailing. Back in 1990, Tracy Edwards skippered the first all-female crew to sail around the world, finishing second in the gruelling Whitbread round-the-world race. They said it couldn't be done. Maiden proved them wrong. Now, with the most diverse crew ever assembled, they're out to do it again. I want girls to look at this crew. I want them to look at this amazing crew of women and see themselves. I want them to look at these girls and go, I could do that. I could be that. And when Whoopi Goldberg became one of our patrons, I mean, she literally looked at me and she went, why is sailing so white? I went, I have no idea. She went, change that and I'll be a patron. So we've spent the last two years looking in places that people normally wouldn't do crew searches. And we have found some really special female sailors. Since Maiden was saved from a scrap heap and lovingly restored in 2014, it's toured the world, promoting and supporting education for girls. Its multinational crew includes a woman who only two years ago fled the Taliban in Afghanistan. What Maiden is doing, what we are doing, is, you know, a voice, a very strong voice to the world, to the women, to the Afghan women too. I'm sure they will watch us, they will see us, and I'm sure they will be inspired by Maiden. And the crew will be rolling back the years in more ways than one. This race must be done without any modern technology, navigating the globe with only their eyes, their charts, and the stars. The crew may be new, the methods less so. And the mission, as it's always been, to inspire girls and change the world. Matthew Thompson, Sky News.